So this is how we try for mass communication. Here I'm again with another video. In this video, I'm going to show you if you have or if you tried iOS 26 beta, public beta, or any other beta, and you don't like, you want to return the oldest version of iOS. In this case, could be iOS 18, 18.5. So you are regretted, you don't like, and you have some glitch, some problem here and there. So you want to return to the oldest version. How you can do that? This I'm doing on iPhone 16 Pro Max, any other version of Apple device, the process would be the same, identical. In this case, first thing I recommend to everybody, do a backup. Backup of everything, you may lose some data, some information, some charts, some picture. So you can do two ways the backup, you can backup in iCloud here. And also you can backup in your computer in Mac or PC by iTunes. In phone, you can go to setting option here. In setting, where do you see your name, all the information, click this one. Here you will see iCloud 5 gigabyte of backup is free from Apple. If you have more data, you need to purchase some backup plan from Apple. Or you can do same in iCloud, doesn't matter. So here you see iCloud backup option. You can decide what, what thing you want to backup. I hit see all. So you can decide which one iCloud photo. I don't want to photo backup. But important contacts, reminder, so you can decide which application you want or not. If you don't want anything, you can pause that one. If you want anything, you can activate that one. Very simple, guys. So I go here, backup, and I hit backup now. Backup in iCloud setting. Continue. So it's backing up. So we have to wait till backup is done. And you have to have your data cable of your iPhone, also a computer ready, which computer has iTunes. You can do by a Mac, also PC, but you have to have last version of iTunes. So I come here to my computer. I'm using Mac Mini M4. Could be any Mac or Windows, doesn't matter. Connect this one, as you see, I'm connecting to any port. And we'll go to recovery mode. So in this case, volume, See here properly, volume up, volume down and hold the power key. Volume up, volume down, then power key and hold till you see Apple logo. Okay, I see Apple logo here. I will continue holding till it will go inside the system recovery. You have to continue hold. If you leave, it will not enter. So I have here system recovery. Let's go to the computer. So you see immediately in computer, they say restore or update your phone. So there is a problem in your iPhone require update or restore. I click here restore option. It will return you to iOS 18.5 or later. I click this one restore. Restore and update both together. I click this one. I hit next button here. Agree term and condition in this case. iMac is downloading the software, so we have to wait in this case. See at the bottom, 9.5 gigabytes, five minutes remaining, so quite faster, this one. Now you can see Apple logo, the phone is restored, is done. Apple logo appear here. So here is done in the computer, I guess. So we come to this skin and we'll continue. It's coming to the start skin here after starting a couple of time. We have to set up our phone for the first time as you have done. So let's do it. Put your place where you reside. In my case, it's Spain. I leave this one as default. I hit continue. Quick setup with another device. If you have another phone, tablet or other things, you can set up more faster. Or you can do, if you want, you can do manually. So I hit setup without another device. So apps, data, iCloud backup, I hit because all the data I want to recover. 
I hit continue to restore all the things from backup. It's showing me welcome to iPhone. Perfect, lovely. Let's see which version we have setting. It's also loading all the things general here. About, you can see iOS version 18.6. So this is the way you can get iOS 18.6 and returning from beta version. Okay guys, if you like this video, please do subscribe to my channel. If you like this segment, please give me a thumbs up. Take care till then. Bye-bye.